right, basically, I've been uh, back and forth on the trans. Uh, it was in limp mode, so I'm gonna see if I got it out of limp mode. Try not to hit that lady. Why are you in lip mode? I guess the question is, are we getting 12 volts? Let's check for 12 volts. Most people put their car on jacks, especially being like, not a normal sized person. I mean, I guess I'm not like a giant. At any rate, let's see. We got 12. Yeah. That's a good idea. Give me something. Oh, yeah. BP. Maybe that terrible connection. That's good. That's always good. Uh. Take two. Good news is it looks like my computer screen is. This keyboard is. This is a used Dell. It seems like this keyboard is not too great. And now I lost, like, yeah, okay. Well, I found a loose wire. I'm gonna have to assume that that was it. But at this point, can't really assume much of anything. Definitely still bit mode. All right. Be prepared for take three, I guess. I shouldn't play music or we'll go to jail. YouTube jail. Oh, see that? I drove this car for so long that I think I, that's gonna last for a long time for me. Gotta pull the tranny pan off the Futura. You don't have an air fryer? Definitely get air fryer. So I pulled the tranny pan and uh, my puzzle found me. These were in the bottom of the pan. These are parts that should not be in the bottom of the pan. They should be in the valve body. So I didn't put some together right. Hopefully you can see here is where we are missing pieces. The great news is we are missing a roll pin. <laughs> we'll get the valve body off 
and then uh, get it on the ground and see what I messed up. All right, little buddy. Time to spread your wings. Oh, so much stuff. So much stuff. Got our balls. There's our hole. With no roll pin. So, question is, did I even put one in? At this point, I have to say I probably just didn't. I would think I need to figure out is what I'm gonna put in there for a roll pin. Also need to figure out how this goes again. Again, put all the stuff back in here. Uh, I don't have a roll pin, but I got a drill bit and. Uh, No, that's pretty much like the same thing. I think it's in there pretty good. I don't know. See, I feel like you guys all knew where my head was at, and everyone was probably like, oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I did it. And so far, I don't regret it yet. Yet. I mean. All right. So I got it back on the ground last night, and we're going to go get some fluid. For it. This is, I was going to try to save the food that I just put in, that would be nice, but the trans pan was quite dirty, like with uh, mud and sludge, so when I was trying to drain it real nice, of course the drain, <coughs> the drain bolt was messed up, couldn't get it out. <laughs> I didn't really have time to mess with it, so I just pulled the pan like I normally do on ones especially that don't have a drain plug, and it got a bunch of dirt into the pan, and I cleaned it out and everything anticipating using the fluid because it was brand new, but that is lost, so we'll grab some fluid, grab a couple other things at the store, and then uh, pretty much... Once the fluid's in, should be good. If it's not, then that's not good. But uh, hopefully we'll be doing some dry around and maybe make some choo-choo noises. you guys off. How's that? See if it, if it is around the right level. Hey! Shifter fall out. I don't know. <gasps> and cable. Oh yeah. Look at that. 
Look at that little guy. So that didn't caught up in it. That's kind of important. Oh, the jack's still on it. Something's leaking over there. Yeah, all in all, doing pretty good so far. Let's try this again. Notice foot on brake, just in case. <sighs> all right. Super scientific eat. Transmission fill. All right. You want some mo? We can do that. Round three. Foot on brake. Deja vu. I just decided to put the rest in and let it leak out, hopefully. That's, that's what a grown up would do. Take four. Let's check this. Let's check this. Come on, buddy. Oh. Turns out if you just put it all in there, it comes out. And that's how you scientifically check your transmission fluid and make sure it's properly filled. Don't forget that once it stops dripping on its own from being level on this perfectly level surface, you want to give her a jimmy. Jimmy. You know, after it's done, it's not actually done yet. And then you're perfectly level. You just pull this dude out. This here, who's he wants it. And you put in this guy. Where is he at? This guy. Courtesy of Ryan. That's the, that's the proper way to do this that's not at all don't do that or do it or don't next we'll see if it shifts for real number five five is my lucky number so we'll see if it is fixed with five you always do this and then you're like do I spill did I spill all the training fluid? No. Well, not yet. Oh, this is when you do a little prayer. Please work. This will be the end of the transmission video. This is this is transmission glory. We stayed in first. We don't know. There's no training fluid that I see in the river mirror over here. It's just a good day. Just a good day. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. That's like had their hands in a transmission or a valve body. I feel like even if I was a transmission guy, I would still be like, oh, thank God it works. All right, there it is. Transmission shifts. We have first and second at least. I'm sure we have the other ones. We'll go find out. 